Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have to get a new one. I think I have to get a new one. I think I have to get a new one. Matching, yeah? Oh. Driving there. Yeah, he's driving. I have having a coat to put under, I mean, over. What do you mean? So I'm saying you need a jacket, because... I'm just going to ruin the outfit. No, but you've got to freeze, Casey. No, I don't freeze. What is it with these kids, bruv? Nah, actually, what am I talking about? See, I was like, the whole typical parenting there. Because many times I went out with no jacket to make the outfit bang. But I'm telling you now, because I've done that, you're going to freeze. You're going to regret it. Especially later on. Yeah, you think you're all nice now, all hot and shit, because fucking you've been rushing and... No, no, no. You wait until you're outside. Waiting for the taxi or, to be fair, they're driving, to be honest with you, but walking to the car... Like, might even be a little cute to get in the venue because it's a nice place to go into. Like, you need an overcoat, man. And you knew where you was going. You knew the weather would change. You should have sorted that out, mate. Like, instead of doing your eyebrows, your nails, and every other thing about your body, bro. Cool, keep yourself warm. Otherwise, all the rest of your body won't matter because you fucking freeze. And I can only talk like this now because I was her. We was her, right, parents? Ah. <sighs> The maturity, man. I don't even know when that happened. My biggest fashion failure to fit in or to look good, I think over the years, was wearing trainers half a size too small. I know people are still doing it now. Having to take their trainers off while they drive. Or when they're at the venue in the cinema, take like every opportunity, take your train off. You know what I'm talking about, peeps, yeah? That was me. If you see the state of my feet now, to be honest with you, it's not just trainers, though. I played football. I played football, so I used to wear a size, a size down in football boots, so it was snug. Yeah? And now my feet look, I don't know what they look like, but they don't look. Snug. <laughs> snug is nice. What What's the opposite to snug? Because that's what my toes look like right now, yeah? They look like thugs. <laughs> they look like fucking thugs, rude boy. Yeah? Um, but yeah, man. Going half a size or a size down is my big fashion boo-boo, which I'm now living with uh, the consequences for the rest of my life, mate. Having to put tea tree oil on my big toes and that, yeah? <laughs> Every time I do it with a little brush, Thinking, I feel like I'm painting my nails. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? All of this to what? To have half a size down. Now I should be doing it because the Air Force is creased. The trainers didn't even crease back then. Proper leather back in my day, mate. Yeah? Absolute stinker. The more I'm thinking about the half a size down on my crepes, bro. I remember one time I booked the crepes at my size. Watley remember this, year, uh, And Steve as well. I put tissue in the front to make them snug. And that was a size nine. I'm a size nine. Bomber Clark, bro. Trust me. Yeah, so as a youth, we, 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 um, we done some silly things. And I, I'll say as a youth, I know there's man them still doing it now. It's not even as a youth, bro. For fashion. <laughs>